Hi everybody, welcome back to another episode of How to Airbnb. My name's Andrew, and I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about Airbnb. Let's go. So today I'm going to talk to you guys about what happened after I got my first listing up. I'm also going to show you guys my listing. After that I'm going to show you my second, third and fourth listing. I'm going to explain to you guys how I started my management business. I'm going to tell you guys exactly how many listings I manage. I'm going to tell you guys where my listings are. I'm also going to tell you guys exactly why I do what I do. Lastly, I'm going to tell you how I can help. If you missed my last episode, make sure to check it out here so I have a good idea of how I got started. Once you're done checking out that video, come back here and then you can see what's happening. If you've already seen that video, let's go ahead and get into this. So after I got my first listing up, I wasn't sure if it was going to work or not. Like, sure, I got my first booking after 12 hours of having my listing up, but what was going to assure me that I was going to keep getting business and that in a month or two, the project would just fail? So it took me two months to decide before I went all the way with Airbnb. Before going through with it, I actually had more people coming to visit the room. I had prospects as in renters that were coming to check out the place for long-term rental and in between them I had guests coming in to stay for short term and it was a big battle within myself to figure out was this gonna work or did I just get lucky the reason why I say that I just get lucky because a fear that I had was because it was a new listing maybe Airbnb was favoritizing that listing over old listings and I get it you want to reward good behavior I put up a listing you gave me a booking I want to continue but was it really just a fluke did the algorithm just work for me that time was I gonna get screwed later on I had no idea so eventually after speaking with my roommate we decided that we were gonna do Airbnb full time. And what we did is we took our calendar, we unblocked the dates, and we made it available for the next three months. And that's kinda when I really started doing Airbnb. So I'm gonna put up a short montage of my first listing. Check it out, and after that montage, you're gonna find a link in the description below. You can actually go click on it and have a look at how I actually built that listing. So the way that I got my second listing was very similar to the first way except this time I had a better idea of what I was doing. So another one of my roommates was moving away and I had the option. Do I rent it out on long term, usual roommate style, or do I go with another Airbnb in my home? So I decided we're going to do another one. The biggest complication about having two listings in one home is having two types of different guests coming to stay with you. So not only are you managing one to two guests that know each other, but now you're going up to three, four people would be almost two couples, two friends that don't know each other. So personalities can clash. We eventually figured it out. We made our listing description very clear on how our home was for two listings and the way that we did that is that we wrote in our description that 
if you're somebody that likes meeting new people, come stay with us. We have two listings in our home and our place is perfect for travelers who want to meet other travelers. So the third listing was actually a big joy because that listing came from a decision of me and my girlfriend at a time wanting to move in together. We had a budget, we figured out how much money we had, we were going to get a one bedroom, but then we got thinking, what if we got a two bedroom and did Airbnb there too? And what was great about that idea is that it actually pumped up our budget. Instead of just shopping around for a one bedroom, we were able to shop around for a two bedroom. And we were able to up our standards a little bit because of the anticipation of the money that we could make. And we were already successful at this, having multiple bookings and some in advance that we trusted the system at this point. So we're both looking for a place. We eventually find one and we start hosting there. So what happens is I have three listings at the moment. So what that means is I have the two listings that I started in the beginning where my old roommate is, where I moved away from. And then I have the third listing where my girlfriend and I were living. So the way that I got my fourth listing was actually because of the building that I moved into. And what happened is my landlord at the time he told me that there was a vacancy in a unit within our building and it took me two seconds to be to realize what if I just turned that one into an Airbnb as well like the system was already working so I spoke to him we figured it out and then I had to speak with my roommate at the other place and we decided that we were gonna shut down shop there close down our two original listings and then move those two into this new listing that would be an entire home. Now, this worked because at the time, my roommate was looking to move away. And it just made it easier for him to do that because he could leave, and then if he needed to come back for any reason, he had a backup. The entire place that he could still use, it was a two bedroom, so we could still host if somebody needed to live there. So it just worked out for us. So the way that I actually got started with my management business was my roommate and I, when we first started out, we wrote about an experience that we had with a guest that was quite unique and we posted it up on Reddit. And eventually somebody responded to it and we found out that he was living in the same neighborhood as us. So we figured out a time, we got together and we got coffee and just got to know each other really. Nothing really transpired from it, it was just that there was a host near us that was also interested in what we were doing. So after a few more coffee meetings, hanging out, getting to know each other, uh, this new friend actually comes up with the idea of, hey, what if we have a management company for Airbnbs? And right away I was like, this is the best idea ever. Like I already love what I'm doing, I love dealing with people, and I'm pretty sure that we can make this work. So from there, we started up a company, we wrote up a business plan, we incorporated, we went through all of the steps, and we started doing business. Our business lasted for about a year, a year and a half. In that time, we were pretty successful. We were managing properties basically across the globe. And eventually, my partner and I, we decided that it would be a good idea to discontinue. Not because the business wasn't working, but because our values and our priorities had shifted. So we no longer have this business together, but we both manage properties separately. Since then, I've started up my own property management business and I'm able to help people host. I'm able to help people run Airbnbs. So I guess one of the questions now is, how many properties do I manage? So I'm proud to say that right now I'm managing nine properties. The next question most people have is, where are these properties? And I'm proud to say that a lot of these properties are actually in Canada, where I'm from. Uh, to name a few, most of my properties are in Ottawa, Ontario, the capital of Canada. I have some in 
Gatineau, Quebec, Halifax, Nova Scotia, Winnipeg, Manitoba, and Tokyo, Japan. Another question that people have is, why do you manage other people's Airbnbs? And to tell the truth, I really like doing it. It makes me feel good to get a notification from a guest coming from a different country wanting to stay in my city or in a property that I manage in that area. It just feels great. It also makes me money and I don't have to go to a job because of it. Another one of the big things that I like about it is that I love teaching people and I love coaching people. So whenever I pick up a new client that's wanting to let me manage his property, I invertedly teach them new things that they didn't know about Airbnb management. And that makes me feel fantastic. Now, the last part of this video is, how can I help you? So, I can help you in three ways. So one, if you're a new host, send me an email, leave me a comment, reach out to me. I can answer most of your questions for free. I can help you out. I was there before. If you're thinking about putting up a spare room or starting up an entire place, talk with me. I can give you advice. I needed somebody to talk to when I started. I spoke with them and they helped. I would like to do that for you guys. The second way that I can help is if you would like to go away for a while and don't want to sell your house or your condo or get rid of your apartment, I can actually take care of it while you're gone. So in other words, I can help you pay off your mortgage while you're on vacation. So if you are thinking about that, reach out to me. We can make that work. The last way that I can help you is if you're already involved with Airbnb and you're already managing multiple listings. And if your issue is that you're too busy to keep growing your business, I can help. You don't need to be scheduling cleaners. You don't need to be creating listings. You don't need to be taking care of the minute details. I can do that. I enjoy doing that. I want to help you grow your Airbnb empire. So that's it for today, guys. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. It means a lot to me. Thank you. If you made it this far into the video, consider leaving me a like. It helps a lot, guys. I really appreciate it if you did. Before you go, don't hesitate to leave me a comment in the section below. If you want me to cover a specific video or you have a question or a topic you'd like me to go over, leave it down there. If you have any questions, ask them down there. And lastly, if you do enjoy what I'm putting out, subscribe to the channel. So in my next video, I'm going to be talking about exactly how to manage your Airbnb. As always, keep hosting.